Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my 2019 yearly favorites. I am so excited about this video because I have discovered so many amazing products that when I looked at my collection to film this video and to gather everything, like I didn't really have to think about what I love the most, what I use the most. And the majority of these are things that I really discovered this year. So it makes it like a true 2019 favorites. Some of course I have been loving from last year and the years before that. Um, they're just like recurring winners. Um, but if you want to check out everything that I loved last year, I still love those products. I just didn't want to be too repetitive. I will link my 2018 yearly favorites below. I cannot believe we're in 2020. Happy New Year, everybody. I truly wish for not only a great year for all of us, but a, just a great decade. Um, 2019 was a really, really interesting year. I, my hands are dry. Hold on, I need hand cream. 2019 was a really interesting year for me. It's a really hard year for me personally, um, you know, with my accident um, and things happening at work. I was just really stressed and I felt kind of lost. Um, I feel that in 2020, it's weird. It's not like it happened right when the year turned, but I definitely feel that we're going in a more positive trajectory, at least for me personally, which I think is really great. Um, and I just always, at the end of the day, strive to be a better person every single day. I think that's really all you can ask for. I don't really have like resolutions per se. I just want to make sure that every day I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm living. And you know, that's really, I think all life is. But None of you asked for that. I apologize for the preachiness, but I wanted to get that out there and say Happy New Year. And thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. And I really enjoy doing this and I plan to keep doing this in 2020. So yeah, without further ado, if you wanna hear me ramble on about all my favorite products of the year, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I post. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda go in categories of like, face products to eye products to lip products. So face, obviously, what are we gonna do first? We're gonna do primers. By the way, I will mention that I pretty much have at least two or more products in every category that I truly loved and I couldn't decide like just one favorite because I'm constantly rotating my makeup every single day when I sit down and do my makeup on an everyday basis for work. I use different products because I really wanna make sure that I'm using my collection and I'm always buying new makeup, getting new makeup, etc. cetera. So um, it's impossible for me to have like one favorite for the most part, but we'll we'll get into that. But for primers, I have two favorites that I want to share with you. I think this one may have won last year as well. This is the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. It is so good. This is my second one. It's just a beautiful primer. It's so smooth. Like it's really got that nice kind of consistency where it's really poor filling, but it's not a thick primer it's really thin in consistency and it just melts into your skin so you don't have to worry about it peeling off like one of those super thick dimethicone heavy primers um it's really beautiful it just lays down a really nice canvas it's really thin as i said so it melts into your skin doesn't add like a super heavy cakey layer i love the packaging and the little pump the only problem is with this packaging because it is a glass bottle i find that when you get down here you're not able to dispense the product but um it lasts for a really long time and they're relatively affordable they're like 18 dollars at sephora touch and soul is a great brand with a lot of stuff so yeah i love this guy and i will probably continue loving it it's definitely probably my favorite silicone ish dimethicone based primer it's very very nice and i think those of you with dry skin would like it too because as i mentioned it doesn't like peel off your skin you know and the other primer i absolutely loved and i've loved this since last year but i don't think i mentioned it last year um i got this late last year and throughout this whole year of 2019 it was one that i would always constantly go back to this is the ColourPop all-star matte and blur primer um sorry my packaging's dirty but basically this is like a it's hard to explain um it's got a consistency of like it's dimethicone based but it's also um tacky at the same time like when you start blending it out it's not that slippery kind of feeling like you start to get some tackiness but it is like liquidy in texture but it does it's a little bit thicker than like this and it's a little bit tackier which makes your makeup stay on all day and i find that with this primer oddly enough it's not one of those super gripping like Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfectors where it's like super duper tacky where your makeup doesn't move around and makes you really matte, but it does make your makeup stay really matte all day, which I have tested this out with so many foundations and setting sprays and powder combinations. And every time my makeup looked really, really good and still matte because I do have oily skin um, by like hour five or six, like 
this is always a common denominator. So that's another reason why I love it and it's affordable. So these are probably like my top two guys for the whole year. Okay, I have three foundations to share with you because I'm a lunatic. Um, one of them is definitely this guy and I discovered this again in 2019. This is the Haley's Reset Matte Liquid Foundation. I'm in the shade 4.25 Neutral. It's a foundation I'm wearing on my skin today and this is a little bit deeper for me because now that we're in the winter months, I'm a little bit less tan unless I self tan but um I don't know if you can tell me just like exposing myself it's a little bit deeper than my um natural skin tone at the moment but I absolutely love this foundation it is so beautiful you can get it at Target for $20 I believe it's a Target exclusive I've traveled with this pretty much every time I went traveling in 2019 um the packaging is really innovative and because it's like plastic but it's thin it's so easy to travel with and so compact they say for best results apply with a sponge today I applied it with my Juno and Co sponge that I recently got um uh, but you know I'm a brush kind of girl in general and I use it with a brush it is amazing it is matte but it's not super duper matte I've spoken about it in my best matte foundations I'll link that video below it's got a perfect consistency like it's not too thick it's not too thin it blends out really really beautifully and it just gives you such a nice flawless finish you really don't need a lot with this guy I absolutely love it another foundation that I love that I discovered this year is the note cosmetics mattifying extreme wear foundation SPF 15 I'm in the shade 04 sand I bought this at Ulta I believe this was like 17 or 18 dollars and I love this it's a plastic pump um also a really really beautiful consistency these consistencies are very similar I would say this one's like a tad bit thicker but still really easy to blend out and this gives you really nice coverage as well I love the SPF aspect in it as well um the only problem is with this is that the cap tends to fall off really easily so if you store it in a drawer or something sometimes it can come off but other than that the formula is really beautiful this reminds me of like the same formula and consistency as the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation which is one of my favorite foundations of all time honestly but I just wanted to give this guy an honorable mention this year especially because I bought it this year and I was using it throughout the whole year and I really really do think it's an amazing underrated foundation. And then the third foundation I have to talk about is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Foundation um, Long Wear Weightless Full Coverage All Day Matte Finish foundation and it's weird because I feel like this is discontinued I don't know um I bought this back in April I think when it launched and everyone was shitting on it they were like this is the worst foundation ever like I can't believe it cost us to come out with something like this and I really liked it the price point was good it was $32 got a really nice kind of glass bottle pump it does get kind of messy though like you can see it's like messy and I don't know how it's like that I pump it on my brush or my sponge and you know it's fine but I'm in the shade 225 medium warm and this is really nice like I don't think like it's a really beautiful full coverage foundation it's probably my favorite go-to like glam foundation of the year like if I wanted to do something where I was stepping out and I wanted to be a little bit more glam this is a foundation that I would use I would honestly would just need to do one pump and it would cover my whole face brush or sponge it was really amazing it's what I wore like throughout my birthday celebrations it's what I wore you know when I would go out to the club or on the town like with a friend or two you know like this is just a really beautiful foundation and it's oil free and it's a little bit thicker definitely it kind of reminds me of the consistency of the Haley's foundation but it's still really easy to blend and for me as someone with oily skin I didn't find that it broke apart I really just felt like it stayed intact all day so I definitely think it depends on your skin type and also what you're doing to prep you know to set and all that jazz but I definitely if you are interested in a full coverage foundation this was definitely my favorite of the whole year okay moving on to concealer I have three concealers to talk about sorry these are all concealers I discovered this year as well I'm gonna start with the elf 16 hour camo concealer this is probably one of my favorite concealers of all time this is in the shade medium sand I use this to highlight with it's five dollars it released this year um and I travel with this everywhere a little goes such a long way it's very liquidy and thin it has a little fat doe foot but it's very full coverage this concealer is thin and paint like but it dries really fast it has full coverage so you're gonna want to make sure you work with it quickly but that being said I think it's absolutely beautiful it leaves such a flawless appearance like under your eyes it blends out so smoothly it's just really nice um, a con about this is not only that it dries really quick so you're gonna have to work with it but the packaging like when you stick it in I don't know if when you saw when I stuck it in like it leaks and like shoots product everywhere um, I'm not sure why but it's got like a suction thing in there so just 
air caution to that. I also truly loved the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. You can see I'm almost done. I'm in the shirty, shirty? Oh, oh my God. God. I was gonna say I'm in the shade 130 light beige. And I believe these released a year ago. I think I did, or maybe it was February when I did my whole Milani concealer and foundation stick review. Um, I think that was like a year ago, which is insane. But I love this. It's got like a thinner doe foot. Um, the consistency is a little bit thicker than the e.l.f. concealer, but still amazing coverage. This is just such a great concealer overall. I would say if you're oily or dry, I think this is the most universal concealer. It's not drying, but it's not super um, dewy either. It's a concealer that I have under my eyes today that I use to highlight down the center of my face, and it's really easy to blend out beautiful concealer probably like one of my favorite at the drugstore like i think these two are my favorite at the drugstore i also love the catrice one but i think overall if you're looking for like that top prize like all around great concealer i think this is it right here and then i want to give a shout out to this guy right here this is the first aid beauty bendy avocado concealer this is one that i love for like my no makeup days it's so thin and liquidy i have the shade three so it's great to spot conceal with um it's so liquidy like i don't know if you can tell right there but it is so nice like if i don't want to put on foundation and i just want to spot conceal some areas like normally if you use like a super thick heavy duty full coverage concealer it'll look weird because you have like some areas that are really flawless and, and it makes the contrast more evident you know but this just sinks into your skin it's so beautiful and so liquid like it's not a concealer i will reach for if i'm doing like a glam makeup day by any means but this is one that i would always reach for if i didn't wear foundation just wanted to cover up a little bit here and there um it's really really nice and i recommend it okay moving on to powder sorry this video is going to be so long but you know i have well i guess i mean if you count this four powders to talk about this is no surprise. I use this in every single video I ever do in my life where I'm putting on my makeup. This is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. Can't live without it. It's just a banana powder that I use like my tapered brush with. I did it today under my eyes and set the center of my face. It's just a really nice brightening powder that I love doing separate from like my all over face powder because I love using this on like a targeted application under my eyes and in the center of my face. Can't live without it but i have three face powders i absolutely love um this one is a beauty bakery flower powder i bought this last year i use this for like my glam makeup days it's a little bit thicker of a powder but it's great to bake doesn't really have flashback this is awesome and then this one surprised me this is the becca hydra mist set and refresh powder looks like this this is one that where you put it on your face and it feels super cool because of the glycerin and the water. Um, it feels like water, honestly. Um, although I've had this since like June or something and it's not as like wet feeling anymore. But surprisingly and kind of ironically, this makes my makeup stay flawless and matte all day. Like it's one of my most long wearing powders. It's really, really strange because it's made up of water and glycerin. So you would think it's very dewy and you know, would make your makeup not look as matte, but it truly blurs your skin out, makes you look matte. I absolutely love this and I love the sensation. And then the powder I'm wearing on my face today that I completely destroyed the packaging of this morning. I was trying to like tap it out onto the cap and then the whole thing came out and it was like a mess. This is the Joa Beauty Self- <laughs> See? Oh my god, I'm a savage. I need to stop. I need to stop. I'm fired. Okay, I can't do that. But this is a Joa Beauty Selfie Ready Setting Powder. This is one of those like true HD silica kind of like cornstarchy major flashback like my hard candy one. Um, this is one of those like powders that'll really just make you look super airbrushed and flawless it's a powder i'm wearing on my face right now and i absolutely love this powder so much when obviously like i'm not gonna wear it for flash photography but on a daily basis it just makes you look like so smooth like you can see i just look so smooth on my face because of this powder. Like I attribute all of that to this powder. It's so beautiful. Joa Beauty is um, a K-beauty brand you can find at CVS. So definitely check it out. It's cruelty free. They've got a lot of other things that are really, really nice, but yeah, the powder is probably my favorite thing that they do. Okay, after powder comes bronzers. I only have two to share with you. Um, this is the Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade Soleil. Um, I love this for like my no makeup makeup days. If you've seen my like 
no foundation makeup routines. I'll try to link a bunch of those videos down below so you have like a reference point, but I love this. I love their baked formulas. I love that this has like kind of like golden glitters raining throughout it, but it just translates to a really beautiful warmth on your face. Perfect for when you don't want to do blush, like you just want to do a one and done, add some color and dimension, but you don't want to fuck with anything else. Sorry, that's a bad word. But anyway, <laughs> um, this is really, really beautiful. Just gives you like a really nice kind of glow to your skin. Really good stuff. And then for a matte bronzer, the one that I discovered this year that I absolutely love is the Pretty Vulgar Bronzed B Bronze Mannequin Bronzer. It is so beautiful. It's a bronzer I'm wearing on my face right now. It's definitely more of a soft, powdery formula, like not like the Fenty Beauty formula or the Anastasia formula where you can dip your brush in and then, you know, like it, you can go to town. This is definitely more pigmented right off the bat. It's a softer formula, um, but it's so beautiful and it just blends out to perfection. Like you can see how pigmented that is with a swatch, but as I blend it out, like it just shears out so nicely, gives you that nice warmth, but this isn't too warm so I feel like it's great to contour as well and I have it you know like on my cheeks I don't even break or anything like that didn't carve it out wanted to do kind of like a natural messy glam today because all I'm doing today is really just going out to brunch I'm uh, doing a little bit of shopping some errands I got a pack I got to do a lot of stuff so nothing too glam here but this is still really really nice and pretty vulgar makes some great formulas I got this in a boxy charm and it's definitely one of my favorite things I've ever received in a boxy charm it's so good love it you can get it at Sephora too by the way hey and then moving on to blush um it was really hard for me to narrow this down but I have three blushes to talk about that I discovered this year um let's start with this guy right here when wearing on my face speaking of Milani baked products the Milani sunset passion passion baked blush is absolutely stunning it is a beautiful kind of like rosy glow it's the one I'm wearing on my face right now and even though it looks like a deeper berry I find that I can wear this with like any look cool tone warm tone and this is one of those formulas where I'll just throw on my cheek kind of like luminoso where I just throw it on my cheek and I don't have to do anything else like if I want to do a one and done their baked products are really excellent at that like they're great if you just want to do blush like throw this on you don't have to put on highlighter or anything else if you want to just do bronzer like you don't have to do anything else but this is so special and their baked formulas are truly some of the best in this industry in my opinion they're so smooth they never look patchy they give you just enough but they're very buildable so i love them they're great another blush that i really really loved is the physician's formula butter blush in the shade vintage rouge they have a few shades i wanted to pick this one because it's the most neutral one this one is for you if you're someone who who does not like a lot of blush you really want to build it up because this is not super duper pigmented right off the jump like you're gonna have to really apply and apply but not in a really annoying way it just smells amazing first of all but it kind of like the butter bronzer formula it really just allows you to build up the pigmentation to what you desire and when you do that it just gives you like a really nice flush and never looks too much this is something that you can do for warm tone looks cool tone looks this is something that's perfect for every day where you just want to add a little bit of color and flush to your cheeks but you don't want to go overboard you will never go overboard with this it's so good and then last but not least this is so amazing i love this so much and i think i need to buy more colors this is the catrice um blush box in the shade bronze um probably my most neutral bronzer in my entire collection it is so beautiful it's so pigmented but so soft and buildable and i love the color this is truly like a high-end blush formula where it's truly like everything you could want in a blush not too pigmented not too um dull at the same time it just gives you a really nice flush to your cheeks and because of the color specifically like it just looks like it's your natural flush coming through i love this i travel with this all the time beautiful packaging it also says it's water and sweat proof so that's amazing love this guy highlight i have three to share with you um i'm not gonna stay here long these are really really amazing the ofra cosmetics nikki tutorials everglow highlighter probably the most intense highlighter in my collection it is so beautiful very pigmented very creamy very soft so you only need to dip your brush in like a little bit and honestly i don't even know if they have this anymore but I use this so much this year for like a night out. It's just stunning. And then another highlighter that I absolutely love is the Jouer Powder Highlighter in Citrine. Also very blinding. You're going to want to do less is more with this as well. But really pretty, just kind of like peachy, 
gold. Like you can see how reflective that is with just one swipe. These formulas are so special. Um, I've heard they're a little bit delicate, so be careful traveling with them, but so beautiful. It's what I have on my cheeks on top of this guy right here um, and on my brow bone. It's just very beautiful, melts into your skin very nicely. Less is more with this guy and same with this, but they're both very reflective. I would say this is a little bit more reflective. Like if you want to like bam, like this is like the way to go. But this is also incredibly reflective if you build it up. And then another highlighter I want to give a shout out to that I discovered this year. This is the Catrice 3D Glow Highlighter in the shade Icy Glaze. This is such a beautiful like white highlight. Like it's just so insane insanely white so this would work for you if you have like fair skin tones but I love using this at like the top of my cheekbone like I will show you how intense it is like just at the very tippy tops like if I'm going out I want to do a little bit more like look at that just at the very top you can see it's just beautiful and even though my skin tone is definitely more of like a medium light medium skin tone i find that when you blend it out really nicely and you don't apply too much like this works as well and i love it it's such a great affordable blinding highlight one of my favorite things ever this year so good okay now that we're done with face products let's move on to eyes eyebrows let's start with eyebrows um two products to share with you brow pencil and brow gel the elf instant brow lift pencil this is a brand new one i just dug into today is my favorite pencil of all time it's so creamy so easy to work with very beginner friendly and very very affordable they're two dollars each the spoolie is super durable as well i honestly think you can't go wrong and if you're a beginner starting with eyebrows and you don't really know what to do this is great because when I started getting into makeup, I didn't really use eyebrow stuff at all. Like I just didn't and I used gel, but this was like the pencil that I was like, oh, I can do my eyebrows every day and fill them in every day and have it be super quick and easy. I am planning on doing a full on eyebrow routine video soon. So stay tuned for that. If you want to see this bad boy like in action and me explaining everything, but this is so good. And then the brow gel that I discovered this year that I absolutely love. This is probably my favorite brow gel of all time. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Brow Gel. And this is like one of those fibery brow gels because you have some brow gels that are very like goopy and thick, which are amazing. Like the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel, the Mellow Cosmetics Brow Gels. Those are perfect for when you just want to fill in your brows with gel and don't want to do pencil at all. This is more of like a setting gel and I love it. It adds like the fibers to give your brows some dimension. It's never too goopy. The wand is super small. Um, I actually ran out of this shade. This is Dutch um, and I went as in LA and I bought another one, but I left that in LA. I'm going to have to get that somewhere somehow but this is so good definitely my favorite brow gel discovery in a really long time it's amazing moving on to eyeliner I have two to talk about one liquid and one pencil the pencil that I use every single day that I've honestly fallen in love with is the essence extreme lasting eye pencil um, this is what I have on my eyes every day I tight line my eyes with it it's so affordable it's two dollars you can get it at Ulta they have a bunch of different colors this is in the shade black love of course but it's waterproof it really just stays on your waterline it stays on your tight line it is so good and so creamy so pigmented um you really can't go wrong for the price it's amazing and then the gel liner that i actually really love is the beauty for real finish line liquid eyeliner it looks like this and it's like a felt tip liner but it's a super easy to use felt tip liner because some felt tip liners, you know, they're a little bit difficult. They tug. This one stays pigmented like you can drag it. You can truly do whatever you want with it and it'll follow suit. It's really beautiful. I got this in a boxy charm and I have been using it to create like a thin line if I want to do like a thin kind of like minimal wing liner or I can do a really thick wing liner with this as well. Put on some falsies, just like a really nice glam moment. It's amazing. Okay, I want to talk about mascara before we get into eyeshadow shadow just to get that out of the way so i was really loving these three things in 2019 let's start with this guy i discovered this in 2019 this is a lash primer this is the mark jacobs velvet primer lash primer i actually ordered another one like a travel sized one because i would always travel and neglect my lash primer because it's kind of big to carry around so now that i have a smaller one i can use it and i use this every single day on my lashes and i like lash primer because not only do i feel like it adds more to my lashes but it also protects them in a way like if i'm taking off my mascara at night i'm not necessarily tugging at it i feel like it provides like a nice base for my lashes if that makes any sense this is really nice 
it's expensive but i really do feel like it adds a nice difference especially for me because i'm someone with straight lashes this really just does help keep them curled keep them nourished and keep them full you know and then these two mascaras are my winners for 2019 i'll start with this because this is the one that i discovered this year this is the essence lashes of the day super volume mascara it's what i have on my lashes right now this is so amazing if you want really thick dramatic lashes it's a wet formula you can see right here bristles are natural bristles and the wand is a perfect size because it allows you to get all of your lashes on your top lashes but for me who struggles to get like definition to my bottom lashes this allows me to get stuff on my bottom lashes as well and just adds a really nice beautiful thick voluminous lash effect it is so nice essence mascaras are amazing but this is probably like my favorite of all time it's so good and then i want to give a shout out to the better than sex mascara because this is probably like my favorite high-end mascara of all time i know that i spoke about the tardis um mascara and it's so good the tart big ego mascara is really good but these take the cake it's these because i got the limited edition packaging as well because i couldn't i couldn't not I just love it. And my love for this got rekindled when I got this in a, my February boxy charm. Um, and I had used this before a couple years ago in college and I really, really loved it, but I kind of fell off like the bandwagon in some kind of respect. But I love this. I love the hourglass wand. This is such an oldie, but a goodie. It's like what the biggest, like most popular prestige mascara ever it's so good i know it's not for everybody but it truly just gives me such voluminous lashes such nice lashes in like very little effort it's so good and i don't even have to like comb through my lashes that often like i can just go and it's good to go had to mention it because i've been using it literally was my go-to this entire year since i re got it back in february okay for eyeshadow um, I want to give a shout out to this guy right here. This is the Fenty Beauty Eyeshadow Primer. And even though I didn't use this every single time I put on eyeshadow, when I would go out or really wanted my makeup to last all day or my eyeshadow to last all day, I would reach for this. It's so good. It's kind of like an invisible formula where you have to put it on and you don't really see coverage or ever or anything but this truly makes your eyeshadow so vibrant and last so long and i know i used to think eyeshadow primer was a gimmick but when i put this on like i wore this out i went out with a couple friends um a couple nights ago to downtown we went to first friday in las vegas and i did like a simple copper eye look with like my anastasia soft glam palette and yes that's a pigmented palette on its own but after I put this on, you know, I was just like, holy crap, this is so pigmented, like more than usual. Um, and I could totally see a difference. It's very, very noticeable. Um, the key with this is that you have to, you know, swipe it on your eyes, blend it out, wait a little bit, like a couple minutes before you blend out your shadow on top. And then you go in and it's beautiful because if you don't wait long enough and you still apply it when it's tacky, it's going to make your eyeshadow look a little bit patchy. So just wanted to say that but this is so good and i love it eyeshadow palettes um i'm gonna give it to three palettes right here because i have so many eyeshadow palettes that i bought in 2019 that i absolutely loved but these are like the three that i feel like i used the most starting with the lottie london shadow swatch palette in the shade the rest i discovered this in february of last year and i absolutely love how it's cool tones and warm tones it's so beautiful and so underrated this is like so pigmented so creamy so vibrant just everything you could want in a palette like really really high quality blends out really nicely um really easy to travel with and just gives you such a variety of looks you can do something super neutral or something super smoky it's amazing and then the urban decay born to run eyeshadow palette is so amazing as well i've traveled with this i took this with me to chicago this is a very pigmented palette i'm wearing this on my eyes as well i'm wearing riff i use this as my standard transition color punk on my outer corners and then hell ride kind of in my crease and on my lower lash line they're so beautiful just so stunning beautiful color selection you can do neutrals pops of colors oh my god what happened to that shade um they're really pigmented and really soft eyeshadows so a little goes a long way but they blend out beautifully and i don't think you would be disappointed if you're looking for that all over palette it's got a great mirror as well so this is an a plus for me and then last but not least the bh cosmetics glam reflection gilded palette i bought so many bh cosmetics palettes this year that i absolutely loved but this is the one that i was using the most and if you watched my last year's yearly favorites 
you know I spoke about the L'Amour Glamour Flexions palette. It's in the same packaging. It's just the pinky theme. But this is the one that I got this year and it's so beautiful. All these neutral shades are great for every day. Great to travel with. You've got these really pretty um, glitters, purples for like a deeper smoky eye. And then this glitter is so magical. It's what I have on my lid right now. Like it is so beautiful and so unique in my opinion. If I give you a close up, like it's what I have on the majority of my lid. It is so stunning and just adds that nice pop of color. And the formula on this is so good. BH Cosmetics eyeshadows are, in my opinion, are some of the best affordable eyeshadows in the industry. I think they're quite underrated. Um, and yes, not all of the palettes are amazing, um, but the majority of the ones, especially their newer launches, are amazing and I think you need them. Okay, then I wanna give a shout out to two like glittery products. I became really into glitter this year and I actually just bought like a whole glitter palette from ColourPop, even though they're not technically eye safe. But the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade OK is like that perfect finishing glitter. It's what I have all over that metallic shade um, on my lids right now and it just adds a really pretty like glittery essence. It's still pigmented and still has a base where you can see that gold. Sorry, my swatches are freaking terrible. But you can see right here, you can see that gold base. It adds such a nice dimension of sparkle all over your lid and it just truly elevates any look. And I use this ever since I purchased it in any kind of look, dramatic, non-dramatic on a daily basis. Like this is just so beautiful and I love it. And then the Appeal Cosmetics Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade, um, I think this is rose gold, but it's not rose gold, it's truly copper, is so unique. And the packaging is like a little like liner, you can see right here, but this truly goes on like a dream. I love doing this like on top of liquid liner, like a little glittery eyeliner effect on top, or you can, you know, put it all over your lid. And it truly is just so special. It's very pigmented, very easy to apply, which is very tricky for a lot of liquid glitters, I feel. And I absolutely love this and it's so good. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I highly recommend it if you're looking for a nice like coppery glitter because I feel like this is the most universal glitter shade you could ask for. It's really nice. Um, I have three liquid lipsticks I wanna give a shout out to. Um, I'm not wearing any of those lip products on my lips right now because I actually wanted to tie like my lip in with my eyeshadow. So bear with me, but these are nudes. Um, I have three to talk about. One is a winner from last year. This is the NYX Liquid Suede Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sandstorm. I'm running out of it. I need a new one. It looks so beautiful. I'll swatch it for you right here. It's a little bit more of a moussey formula, but it's so comfortable. Really my favorite liquid lipstick formula from the drugstore. I wish they would come up with more colors, like more nudes, but it's somehow a cool tone nude, but it's very flattering on my skin. I can wear this you know, on an everyday basis. I can wear it with a super sultry, smoky eye. It just always works and I love it. I spoke about the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Strip last year, which is more of a brownie nude, but I have to talk about the ColourPop and Delilah collaboration in the shade Wish. It is so beautiful. It's a little bit more rosy than Strip, but it is so beautiful. Like you can see one swipe of full pigmentation. It's just that really pretty warm, um delicious like new that just looks so good and just so flattering and like healthy on your lips like you look alive and you look healthy it's really hard to explain but it's a really nice feel good nude and then i can't live without the galactic matte lip paint in the shade spice um this is a little bit more of a moussey formula as well i would say out of the three of these the nyx is a moussiest i would say the color pop is also moussey and then the Galactic one is more of a liquidy formula. This is Spice right here. So you can see kind of like the color variations. This is Sandstorm by NYX, very cool toned. This is the warmest of the three. This, this is ColourPop uh, in the shade Wish. And then this is a more neutral nude in the shade Spice, a little bit more of a peachy terracotta. But yes, you can see all three of these are like Honestly, like my dream nudes, like these are the nudes that I can't live without. They're so nice and so beautiful and so flattering. I absolutely love them and I think you need them. They're so amazing. Okay, and then I have two lipsticks I wanna talk about that I discovered this year. One is a ColourPop Blur Lipstick in the shade California Love. Their Luxe lipsticks are really good, but this is probably my favorite out of all of them. I love this packaging and I travel with this so much. It's such an easy color because it is pigmented, like you can see right here, but because it's a blur formula, it's not gonna be super like, obvious if you mess up or go outside the lines. Like it truly just looks like it's your lips, but better. And the formula is very forgiving. You can just 
literally like throw it in your purse and apply it without a mirror and it looks beautiful it's so stunning and beautiful and just i keep using the same words but this is like that true beautiful brown your lips with Breader nude for me it's a little bit rosy a little bit brown overall amazing and then the tarte lipstick in the shade colada is probably like my favorite high-end lip discovery for lipsticks in 2019 it's that perfect brown nude perfect for my skin tone i'll swatch it next to california love so you can see the difference you can see colada is definitely a little bit more nude a little bit more brownie but this is just amazing and works for any kind of look you're going for it's truly stunning and i love it okay i have two lip glosses that i got this year that i absolutely love and have to give a shout out to this is the ColourPop onboard ultra glossy lip looks like this i love their ultra glossy lips honestly like at a girl you can see right here is wait where to go at a girl i'm almost like i'm halfway through it i love this like brush on serum -y formula because it's so comfortable on the lips it's not sticky but it still gives your lips a lot of dimension and this is so beautiful it's like a coppery peachy reflective um golden shade that is the perfect topper to any look if you want to elevate it um i wear this all the time on its own if i'm just going out and running errands because glosses on me last longer than like lip balm so i will use this if i want my lips to stay hydrated and nourished it's probably like my favorite gloss topper that i use like throughout this whole year and then I also want to mention the Morphe um, lip gloss in the shade Pixie. This has been living in my purse, but I also use it like at my vanity getting ready. This is such a beautiful, like cool toned, um, nudie gloss, but it just looks good on top of everything. It's definitely a different kind of formula from the ColourPop one. This is definitely more sticky. It's definitely still high shine, but it's an opaque creme formula. So if I swatch it next to this, you can see it has more color payoff and this is great to use on its own. I love the formula of this. It's it's very very nice very emollient but not super duper sticky but still very long wearing and it just gives your lips such a nice kind of like moment if you want your lips to just be shiny and comfortable and have something that lasts a long time but you don't necessarily want it to be like glittery this is your guy right here okay and then last but not least i have two setting sprays to talk about the morphe continuous setting mist is just so good i go through bottles upon bottles it's amazing for the mist alone like so beautiful and i'm actually gonna go pick up another one today because i'm almost running out but i do want to give a shout out to the cover effects high performance setting spray um this is my favorite long wearing setting spray you shake it up it doesn't have denatured alcohol in it which is rare for a setting spray a long wearing setting spray to have or to not have just really makes your makeup stay in place like your face actually feels a little bit tight after you apply this but in the best way possible because you know your makeup is like like latched on it's amazing okay everyone and that is it for my 2019 yearly favorites all these products i spoke about are amazing products and i absolutely love them and i think you should definitely check them out they're so beautiful and i can't wait to see the new makeup discoveries that i will have in 2020 leave me your comments down below with what you liked in 2019 give me your favorites give me um your thoughts on any of the products i mentioned i would absolutely love to know but yeah that's it you guys i'm late to brunch so i gotta run but thank you so much for watching this video have an amazing year i'm wishing you nothing but the best honestly and yeah uh, have a great one, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.